It was the place to come for adventure. You can explore everything that you think of. It was a place to meet our friends. It's words, it's, a, it's really visual. Very warm, friendly. Energetic and they're so nice. The community needs this kind of facility, absolutely. I have a lot of different relationships with it and I consider it like home. A most treasured possession. This is an image of the front door, and we still use the doors. Even in the 125th anniversary promotional material, you'll see that we're using the front door as the image of entering this world of, of knowledge and discovery and exploration, which public libraries are. The library's history really begins in 1887. The city was already well established by that time. There were affluent people living in Highland Park and they were interested in intellectual pursuits. People petitioned the city council. The city council passed an ordinance to establish the library. The actual library opened in April of 1888 and it opened in a store on Central Avenue. Very small library, open a couple hours, two days a week. It developed very rapidly, of course. The community grew, uh, there was a lot of just population growth, so the library became more and more crowded, busy. Over the decades, it changed locations several times because it just outgrew its place. It was in City Hall for a little while and that was when City Hall was on Central Avenue. And then it went into a building called the Athenaeum. Once again, it was outgrown quickly, population and expanding collections and services. So the library did petition Andrew Carnegie for a building. He was a great philanthropist for public libraries, had given to hundreds of libraries, and he gave eventually $12,000 to the building. The entire cost of the building was $17,000. 1927, the library board hired their first professional librarian, and her name was Cora Handy. And I think she probably was one of the most innovative leaders the library ever had. And it was under her leadership that the 1930s building was constructed. The library began a program of outreach and public programming, promotion, publicity. Cora was a very influential woman and was far-seeing, understood the future of, of the library. This is our cultural history. This is who we are today. This is who we are 1930 and that people in the future will recognize that this building uh, embodies all of that cultural heritage and continues to preserve it. The cornerstone was laid on October 24, 1930. Joseph Garnett was the head of the building committee. Mayor Lewis is in that footage. The first mayor of Highland Park, Frank Hawkins, who was still alive in 1930. The cornerstone laying ceremony was really a community event. About 2,000 people in attendance. Most of those were people who were working or living in the community who came out. It was a lovely day. Also, you'll see in the footage a lot of school children. So there were a number of dignitaries there. The cornerstone laying ceremony reveals the cornerstone has a time capsule in it. It actually was a copper casket inside of that square box. One from the Carnegie building and one for this building. And the contents of those caskets, we know high school annuals, uh, city ordinances, things of that nature. The people that you look at in that cornerstone laying footage are people that are proud of their community. And I think they're people that respect and understand what a public library is to their community. It's a reflection of their intellectual life and their social life. So it's an important part of who they are and how they identify themselves. In 1960, once again, the library is cramped for space. This is, a, this is becoming sort of an uh, endless story here. And uh, the board did a commission an architect, Bertram Weber, to build an addition, which is what we refer to as the children's wing now, the west wing of the library, the children's department. And then in 1976, uh, with some foresight, the library board purchased land east of the library, and that became the area where the adult services room was developed, and our underground parking lot is on that property. We heard that Dan wasn't learning to read. I can't 
take him everywhere. I can't show him everything. I can't tell him about the past or the future. But if you learn to read, you can explore everything that you think of. Well, the part of it was to take him to the Highland Park Library. And Inger Boyer was the children's librarian. Inger Boyer herself got her library degree in New York. And she worked one other place, and then she came to Highland Park. And she was here, I think, from about 1931 to 1964. She is the one who really developed the children's room. You know, when libraries started out, they weren't for children. She told stories, but the big thing was she found out what his interests were, got books from the library to meet his interests. The foundation for all of this was Inger Boy and the Highland Park Public Library. The children's programs that are here and that are provided free of charge now are fabulous. They always make a point, uh, I think, of providing beautiful programs. You know, I've gone through those with my, my own son growing up with the little storytelling. However, they've taken it to the next level. With the kids is, is, is unbelievable because they have just constantly progressed there are all kinds of things free to the community that are fabulous, and the staff is wonderful. So I think the programs have greatly expanded over the decades. You get to know a child across the years. It's different from teaching, and I think that that's really comfort for children. I think it's very comforting. I think the library helps build community. I think it's a community center. I know that there are some people who feel that the library is just not that relevant today. But we look upon the library as being a learning center in the broadest sense. Libraries are completely relevant. They are absolutely more than just a place to get a book. They're a place to come together. This really is, to me, one of our major community centers. There's movies and DVDs, and the library is expanded to video games, audiobooks. The author program, the reading under the stars, the movies, I mean, it's part of the community. It's something that we need. To me, the library is a wonderful resource for people for education, for enrichment, for community development. A place where we can come like hang out with people and like read and study and like enjoy ourselves. The library is pivotal. It's a foundation stone. It's my hangout. It's definitely my hangout. Because people enjoy it. There's no question about that. It's just very nice to know you can get what you want here in this library. I see the library as being a dynamic force for the future, helping people with the new technology. And of course, one of the greatest challenges for us is keeping up with it. Yeah, I, I, think, I think libraries will be here. They'll be different, you know, maybe more computer room, but books will still be here. With so many people coming through these doors every single day, there is something here that they can't get anywhere else. The library has been a part of my life really since I was three years old and could read. It was just magical. Such the beginning of so many adventures. I love this place. This is a really family-oriented community library. It's just this awesome place and it's really like kind of the center of the community. It's been a big part of my life. We come almost every day. They make everyone feel special here. I think Andrew Carnegie knew what he was doing when he started this library. I love the library because it has almost everything I like. This is one of the places that we are the most often, and there aren't too many other places in town that I would visit as many times a week as I do the Highland Park Public Library. I've been to some really big libraries that are really cool, but it's more about the building instead of what's inside of it. You know, you, you walk in, it's, it's like being in a big house. It smells good, it looks good, and it, and it feels good. It's really home. Where can you go and read a book and be in a place like this? I truly love it. It, it shares my heart. It's just one of the best libraries I've ever been to. Do I like the library? No. I love the library. I love the Highland Park Library. I love the Highland Park Library. I love the Highland Park Public Library. I love the Highland Park Public Library. You asked me if I, I love the library. I'm in love with the library. I'm totally in love with the library. <laughs>
want to wish this library a happy, happy birthday and thank them so much for being such a huge part of our community. This really is such a, a special place in so many people's lives and has been for so long and I know it will be for many, many years to come.